So welcome to the third guided meditation for our workshop. We are working today with card number 11, Breaking Free. And our focus this week with our workshop, with our, sorry, with our meditation, is to feel grounded and empowered on our path as we are breaking free. So if you have some Apache tear and some smoky quartz or some citrine, you might want to pull that out and have it around you for this meditation. If not, then just feel the vibration of those crystals, those stones coming forward to surround you, to support you at this time on your journey. So allow yourself to get into a comfortable position to, you know, stretch out if you need to, any kinks in, in the body, just kind of release them through the through movement of the body. And when you're ready, just take a nice inhale through the nose. <sighs> Exhale through the mouth. Just disconnect and release any stresses of the day. And while I just do some gentle humming, just allow yourself to feel supported and loved, cradled by the divine for this meditation. Mm -hmm. When you feel ready, begin to allow yourself to call up the image of breaking free. We see Raven flying, hovering immediately before our vision, our third eye, as our eyes are closed now. And we hear Raven say to us with a glance in our direction that we are allowed in this moment to step into his body so allow your energy to merge with ravens and feel what it feels like to swoop those beautiful blue-black wings. To move your head in a different way, to see in a different way. And explore that feeling for a few moments. What does it feel like to merge so completely with raven, to feel yourself moving in Raven's body. And now allow yourself to feel the sun hitting your bird body from one direction and also a ferocious wind howling and kind of pummeling your body from the other direction. You can see in the sky around you and your raven self that we have the sun in one direction, but a, a beautiful, big, giant storm coming to meet that from the other. And so let yourself feel that dichotomy, the dichotomy of warmth and sun and the, the, uh, the pull and the push of the wind 
and the heat of the wind's breath upon you. And feel what happens to your wings as you're balancing these energies. You know, do you need to, to pump those wings faster? Do you need to slow down? Do you need to brace your body? Do your claws need to move in a different way to support your wheeling about in this powerful energy of nature? And spend some time here with that. What does seeing through Raven's eyes mm, give to you in this vision, in this unique vision that you're able to step into right now? What awareness has come to you as you are buffeted about in this balance of uh, warmth and gentleness and active, moving energy. After some time, Raven whispers to you, that there are clouds to your right and you move your bird head <laughs> to look at the clouds to your right. What a powerful, powerful, awe-inspiring image you see of these clouds roiling, this break and dance and push and pull of these white clouds with these ferocious and alive orange and red clouds meeting. These clouds are moving, and you can see as they are shifting and twirling and pushing and pulling and dancing that there are images that come to you through these movements of these clouds. What is it that you see in these clouds? What symbols or images come to you as you watch, still pumping your wings as you go? There comes a moment as you are understanding the language of the symbols within these clouds that Raven tells you it is time to fly into them. And you stop for a moment and let your heartbeat catch up to the understanding that you're about to fly into this alive mass of energy, this movement, this structure. And you feel yourself Ready your bird body and pump your wings again as you know you will be flying into a force. Allow yourself to head towards these clouds. And then to begin to fly within them, into them. What happens as you fly into these clouds? What experience are you stepping into? What awareness does this flight bring to you? What understandings come to you? You may find that you're in a whole different and completely new realm as you fly through these clouds that you're taken somewhere else. Or you might be having an awesome experience within those clouds of what it's like to be a part of that active, moving, 
fiery, alive energy. Whatever's happening, allow yourself to go with it. You're being supported by this structure of smoky quartz, Apache's tear, and carnelian citrine. And you're being supported by Raven as your guide here in this experience. So you are safe to really let go. And honor what comes forth from this experience. So begin to allow an understanding of whatever experience you're having here in these clouds and ask and trust that this understanding gives you concrete direction on your path at this time. And listen to Raven as you move within his body as he shares with you any messages here any understandings that it is time for you to have in regards to your human path, your earth path, your spiritual path, and the marriage of those two within the self. If you have a question for Raven, as you move in his body now, pumping those wings, moving from this powerful experience into a gentling, softening sky, as you pump your wings and leave this experience in Raven's body, leaving the fiery, the roiling clouds. If you have a question to ask Raven, ask him and he will answer it.
He is glad to do so. He is your guide on this journey. And now, in your bird's vision, seeing through his eyes, allow yourself to see below you the ground. Pay attention to what that landscape looks like. And find within it a stone, a log, somewhere for you to land. Feel yourself as you circle around Begin your descent. Feel your claws spread and reach out. As you land on this stone or this log or this tree branch. Feel that connection of your claws to the, to the, uh, to the earth here. You might like to give a little squawk or something beautifully raven-like in this moment. And as, uh, as you finish that, you feel raven gently disconnect from your energy from his body. And you feel yourself coming back into your self. Standing just before raven. Or just a moment ago you've been Raven and you watch as Raven turns and cranes his head to look into your eyes he gives you one last message one last understanding before he pumps his wings and flies away And you watch as he wheels and circles above you and you see that he drops one feather for you and it lands on the ground where you're standing. This is a gift from your time here with Raven. What does this feather represent? What does this feather symbolize for you? And finally, Raven flies so high that you can no longer see the black speck of him in the sky. And you feel your awareness coming back into your human body. And you hear Luca in the other room. <laughs> Just gently allow yourself to come back into your body. To feel your feet, your toes, your fingers, your hands. To feel the length of your spine. To feel your body rooted where it sits or stands or lays. Allow a moment of appreciation and thanks to Raven. Allow a moment of appreciation and thanks to your higher self, to your source perspective, to your tribe, to your intuition and your imagination. And when you feel ready, gently open your eyes. Go ahead and give a nice stretch to the body. however you feel called to. And this is a great time if you have some Palo Santo or some white sage to go ahead and get it. Get, grab some selenite. Light that sage. 
hold that selenite in your hand for a few moments and just feel your energy refreshed and renewed. You've let go of whatever you needed to let go of in this meditation. You've explored whatever you've needed to explore. And this is also a time if you feel called to while the sage or Palo Santo burns to do some journaling, to step into some understanding of the experience, the realm you've just walked in. Take a moment to write down the messages that Raven had for you. What it felt like to move as Raven. And what you learned from your experience within those clouds. What is it time to break free of? What are you ready to let go of? Just how powerful are you? Give yourself the gift of time and sacred space for the next little while. Much love and many blessings.